Okay, you guys, it is Sunday evening. We just had an amazing day at the beach. just in time the rainstorm has hit it is pouring buckets and since we're cooped up inside I took it upon myself to do a little meal prep my parents and Dusty's mom are both coming into town later this week we've got a lot to do before they get here so we're gonna prep to make Monday morning a little bit easier for us I was actually just watching a super inspiring couple of videos from my new friend Faith her YouTube channel is called The Conscientious Eater. She is all about easy, accessible, applicable meals for the whole family and lots of meal prep inspo. So I'm gonna make her healthy cookie dough overnight oats. I'm also soaking some chickpeas to make an amazing chickpea recipe that looks really good. I've been flipping through her recipe book, which I actually just got on Amazon. So I am super excited to get into this. You guys will have to check out her channel. It's very like similar type of recipes and vibe to ours so definitely go give her a follow and we are both so excited to be part of the plant-based bundle together more on that later so if you guys watched last week's video my new morning routine then you know I talked a lot about our obsession with oats we have oats in some way shape or form every morning and I'm super excited to make this overnight oats recipe because it's overnight you don't have to make anything in the morning there's only six ingredients we're just gonna use rolled oats chia seeds cashew butter maple syrup plant milk and sweetened cacao nibs all you have to do is put everything into a large bowl mix it cover it and let it set overnight in the morning it will be nice and thick and creamy and so so delicious it goes great with like some hemp seeds sprinkled on top or shredded coconut or some sliced bananas and fresh berries this recipe actually jumped out at me first and it says right here after five years this is still the most viewed recipe on her blog the other thing that i do every other night is i soak some type of bean or chickpea and that usually becomes almost like the center of our recipe i am soaking chickpeas tonight i saw that faith has a ton of good chickpea recipes so you guys will have to stay tuned to see what deliciousness we cook up good morning you guys i am extra excited that we prepped our breakfast beforehand last night so we are about to dig into our delicious healthy cookie dough overnight oats. Thank you to Faith again for the recipe. And we have super, super exciting news. So the plant-based bundle just launched again. If you guys are unfamiliar, this is an amazing limited time offer. We've been getting tons of questions throughout the year and this special limited time offer only comes around once maybe two times a year and it is here for the summer for only the next few days it expires july 10th what you'll be getting is over 100 plant-based ebooks guides and courses for only 50 dollars it sounds too good to be true but i promise you it is not there is absolutely no catch you purchase the bundle and you own all of the content for life i always suggest break it down and just explore two new pieces of content per week and it'll take you through an entire calendar year of improving your health and happiness. Not only will you be getting our plant-based ebook full of recipes, you'll be getting hundreds of others as well, including my friend Faith's Plant Bias book that I showed you guys, and tons of other content. It's over $4,000 in value. That's over a 98% savings. So you guys want to jump on this before it disappears, before everybody's content goes back to its regular price. The most exciting part of this bundle launch, this has never been done before. When you purchase the bundle, you'll be automatically entered to win a vegan vacation getaway with the vegan holiday company the Getaway Co. So options include Switzerland, Portugal, a couple of different trips in Bali. This amazing experience will allow you to dive into a country's culture, experience amazing vegan food, culinary experiences with top vegan chefs and experts, and create lifelong new friends. All you have to do is book your plane ticket and show up. Guys, $50 gets you an endless supply of vegan eBooks, meal plans, recipes, guides, and more, and the opportunity to win a once-in-a-lifetime vegan vacation getaway. Don't waste any more time. Jump on this offer before it
it goes away. I'm so glad I meal prepped these overnight oats last night. I'm gonna dish up for the kiddos. And for Liv's, I like to add in a couple scoops of Else Nutrition's brand new super cereal. If you guys haven't heard of it, definitely go check it out. It is completely USDA organic, plant-based, it's unrefined. All they do is grind down the ingredients into a flour so that it's easy for your little ones to eat. Kiddos have tiny tummies, so every bite counts, and I love Else Nutrition because they pack a very powerful punch of nutrition in a small scoop. It's great to add to oatmeals and smoothies and all kinds of other delicious baked goods. I'm gonna be using their kids' dreamy chocolate shake mix to make a smoothie for Max. You guys, these guys have got it figured out. They've got something for babies, toddlers, and kids. Go check them out. You can use Erin Else 25 for 25% off. It's the best way to ensure that they are getting what they need on a daily basis. All right, you guys, it is lunchtime. A couple days ago, we were on our way to the beach and Dusty and Max were both super hungry. So we stopped for some vegan street tacos and we are gonna remake that recipe for lunch because it was a huge hit with the kids. Not gonna lie, they were really good. I don't know how you mamas feel out there, but it seems like the harder Dusty and I work to make a recipe super amazing, more colorful, more involved, more flavorful, the less the kids eat. So a lot of times we just focus on the macronutrients and covering their bases. So our lunch recipe today is so ridiculously good, yet so easy and straightforward. Best of all, the kids love it. So your meal is only as nutritious as it is eaten. If they don't eat it, they're not getting what they need. This recipe is fail-proof for the whole family. Four simple and straightforward ingredients. All you're gonna need is a good old-fashioned can of refried beans, an avocado, some healthy whole wheat or whole grain or sprouted tortillas, and some quinoa or rice. We like quinoa because it's a complete protein. To make this recipe, all you need to do is cook your quinoa. Whether it's quinoa or brown rice, my secret is to turn off the heat slightly before the liquid is all absorbed when they're just about done, and then I put the lid on and they just kind of get fluffy and soak up the rest of the liquid on their own without the heat. We put our refried beans on a pan and heat them up. We're gonna spread our beans and our avocado onto a tortilla, sprinkle on some quinoa or rice. I'm gonna to top it with a little bit of salt and nutritional yeast. We have a great brand that's non-fortified, MSG free. It tastes amazing, it just adds that extra little oomph. And then I'm gonna drizzle the hot sauce, wrap it up, and get the kids fed. The true game changer here is throwing it back on the stove top just to warm it a little bit and brown each side slightly. It just adds the perfect finishing touch. We're alive, we're sipping on sunshine. <laughs> so for Liv's, I just made a quesadilla so it was a little bit more flat and I cut it into bite-sized pieces. I'm actually amazed how much she can eat without like molars. <laughs> I love meal prepping on Sundays just to get even just a two or three day head start on the week. That way we're not slaving away in the kitchen when we're super busy on Mondays and Tuesdays. So now we've got a massive bowl of overnight oats for the next couple days in the refrigerator. I'm gonna pop the quinoa and the refried beans in separate containers. So again, the next couple days for lunch, all we have to do is grab out a tortilla or a bowl, maybe chop a fresh avocado or some fresh veggies and you are good to go. And for dinner, we're gonna make another one of our famous one pot stews that will last a couple days as well. So this is from Faith's cookbook and I think you guys are really gonna love it. So the thing that caught my eye about this dinner is peanut butter. This is a sweet potato and peanut butter curry. And of course, the other word that caught my attention is curry. For this recipe, you're gonna need two teaspoons of ground coriander, two teaspoons of ground cumin, one and a half teaspoons of sea salt, one teaspoon ground turmeric, one teaspoon paprika, fresh black pepper to taste, and then for the curry, you're gonna need one onion, four cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of fresh grated ginger, one red chili, totally optional. We're gonna leave it out for the kiddos sake. Two tablespoons of tomato paste, one large sweet potato, which is about three to four cups chopped, one 15 ounce can of full fat coconut milk, or you can go lighter with it and use a light coconut milk. 
one 15 ounce can of chopped tomatoes, two cups of chopped vegetables. So here you can get creative. We're gonna add in bell pepper and carrots, a quarter cup of peanut butter, and for garnish, you can do more salt and pepper, fresh lemon juice, cilantro, and some chili flakes. So being that I soaked some chickpeas last night, and for the sake of adding an extra oomph of protein, I'm gonna add the chickpeas into the stew as well. I'm gonna start by sauteing our onion and garlic and ginger in a splash of water, and then after a couple of minutes, we're gonna add spices and our tomato paste and continue to saute until it becomes fragrant in a couple more minutes. We're gonna add in our sweet potatoes, our canned chopped tomatoes and coconut milk and bring everything to a boil. Turn it down to let it simmer and then we're gonna add in the rest of our veggies. Keep stirring until it is fork tender when it's nice and thick and cooked up and creamy. Then you can stir in your peanut butter at the very end. Also, this goes great with some cooked quinoa or rice on the side. So my raw rainbow salad that I have almost daily has been renamed to Mama's Sleepy Time Salad because it's always a challenge to see if I can chop this before this little miss wakes up from her afternoon nap. <laughs> Today was a success. All right, you guys, the kiddos just woke up from their naps and we are ready for dinner time. We hope you enjoyed these recipes and do not forget the plant-based bundle is only around for a few days. This offer is too good to pass up. $50 for hundreds and hundreds of ebooks, guides, courses, and other content. And of course, don't forget that you will be automatically entered to win a vegan vacation getaway somewhere beautiful like Switzerland, Portugal, or Bali. Go check out and subscribe to Faith's channel at The Conscientious Eater, and make sure to leave some love in the comments below. Let us know what recipe you're excited to try. Until next time, eat, move, rest, your best. Bye guys. There are three things we all do every day and we could all be doing them better. Eat, move, and rest. We're Dusty, Aaron, Max, Olivia, and Bo, and we're the Stanzix. We aspire to live a plant-centric, faith-forward, healthy lifestyle and welcome all of the adventures that accompany it. Join us every week as we blend, chop, juice, run, lift, ride, and master our minds in between on the ultimate quest to find better balance, deeper connection, and true happiness within.